What's up, fight fans? Welcome back to the channel where we dive into the most insane, mind-blowing, and hype moments in boxing. Today, we're talking about the clash that nobody saw coming, but everyone had to see. The goat of boxing, the legend, the one and only Mike Tyson, going head-to-head -head with the king of social media chaos, the YouTube sensation, Jake Paul. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's break down the wildest moments from this fight that had the entire world on the edge of their seats. Buckle up, because this was more than just a fight. It was a straight-up spectacle. The night of the fight, the atmosphere was absolutely electric. Fans from all walks of life, boxing purists, YouTubers, celebrities, you name it, they were all there, packing the arena, hyped out of their minds. And let's not forget the millions streaming live from their homes, ready to witness history. It was like the Super Bowl of boxing, but with this insane twist that no one could have predicted. As the fighters made their way to the ring, you could just feel the tension. Tyson walked out like a warrior returning to battle, his eyes locked in, focused like it was 1986 all over again. And then there's Jake Paul, coming out with that same swagger, that confidence, that I've got something to prove energy. Both guys looked ready to throw down, and the crowd was eating it up. Jake had to see the worst of it. The fans were booing him like their lives depended on it. Round one, the bell rings, and it's on. But before we even get into the punches, let's talk about that stare down. Tyson's glare, pure intimidation. This man has seen it all, done it all, and he wasn't about to let some YouTuber get in his head. Jake, on the other hand, was trying to play it cool, but you could see that hint of, yo, this is Mike Tyson in his eyes. It was like David facing Goliath, except David's been talking a lot of smack on social media. I don't know if he's in his prime, he's fat. He should be lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day, he's fat. I thought, did you start training already? Hey, Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better, I'm you're, better. No, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end you quicker than he did. The first round was all about sizing each other up. Tyson, despite being older, was moving with that same ferocity, cutting off the ring and looking for openings. Jake was cautious, respecting Tyson's power, but also showing that he wasn't just there to be a punching bag. You could feel the energy building up, like something big was about to happen. Round two is where things started to heat up. Tyson was the first to land a big shot, a left hook that sent Jake stumbling back. The crowd went nuts. It was like a flashback to Tyson's glory days, and for a moment, you could see that same fear in Jake's eyes that so many of Tyson's opponents had felt. But give Jake some credit. He didn't fold. Instead, he came back with a solid right hand of his own, catching Tyson off guard. It was a legit exchange, and for the first time, people were like, okay, Jake's really in this. Now, let me remind you, it was Mike who pushed for this fight. He wanted to be the one to end the Jake Paul hype train, and he made sure to show that in the ring. Jake, on the other hand, didn't really have a reason to fight other than the payday. 
the guy had to move all the way up to heavyweight just to make it happen. You could see it in the fight. Jake's heart wasn't in it as much as Tyson's. That's why Tyson had the clear upper hand throughout the match. What about now, you next? That to do this is funny. Tyson, I'm just honored to step in the ring with him, and he's the one that wants to fight. He wants to keep it going. He's saying it's gonna be my funeral. I love the guy. He's a legend, but I have to be the best. <laughs> is this fight different than the other fight? I have to move up to heavyweight. So this is, he has the weight advantage, managing his weight at heavyweight and the power that comes with that. Like I've never been hit by a heavyweight in a real fight. He's the most experienced opponent I've fought. Just being ready for whatever he brings to the table. It might bite my ear off. He might kick me in the dick. I don't know what's gonna happen. Round three is where the fight took a crazy turn. Tyson, looking to end things early, came in aggressive, throwing a series of punches that had Jake backpedaling. But then, boom! Jake landed a counterpunch that stunned Tyson. The crowd went silent for a split second, like, did that just happen? Jake saw his chance and started to press forward, landing a few more shots. It was like the script had flipped, and suddenly, Jake was the one pushing Tyson to the ropes. For a moment, it looked like Jake might actually pull off the impossible. Tyson was still standing, but you could tell he was surprised. This wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and Jake was proving that he could hang with the best, even a legend like Tyson. I mean, say what you want about Jake Paul. Sure, he plays the troll role well, but don't let that fool you. This guy was grinding like a beast in the gym, and that's exactly what you have to do if you're stepping into the ring with someone like Mike Tyson. But if there's one thing we know about Mike Tyson, it's that you can never count him out. Round four was Tyson's reminder to the world why he's a legend. He shook off that surprise from the last round and came back with a vengeance. His punches were crisp, powerful, and relentless. Jake was on the defensive, trying to survive the onslaught, but Tyson was like a machine, calculated and deadly. It was clear Tyson wasn't done yet. He was moving with a purpose, cutting off the ring and landing some brutal body shots that had Jake wincing. The crowd could feel it. Tyson was back in control and Jake was in trouble. But give it to Jake, he didn't go down. He was taking the hits and trying to counter, but Tyson was on another level in this round. Joe Rogan called it. Everyone was doubting Tyson because of the massive age difference, but Rogan knew better. He predicted Tyson would run through Jake Paul like a truck, and man, was he right. Mike Tyson people would talk to. So, people are, there's so, certain people that are just crazy, man. Well, just these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, that like, this shouldn't even, like, because he, he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah. Because the, the, here's the thing, he is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows. And he's also doing this very unique uh, kind of training with electrical muscular stimulation that I've talked to some people that um, do that. And it, it's, uh, it has massive benefits of rehabilitating injuries. Now we move into round five. The energy in the arena was off the charts. Both fighters were giving it everything they had. Tyson was looking for the knockout and Jake was fighting to prove he belonged in that ring. The exchanges were brutal, with both landing shots that had the crowd stunned. But as the round went on, you could see Tyson's experience starting to take over. He was landing the cleaner shots, timing his punches perfectly, and cutting off Jake's escape routes. Jake was hanging in there, but it was clear that the legend still had it. The crowd went absolutely nuts when Tyson caught Jake with a mean uppercut and down went the problem child. When Mike Tyson puts you on the canvas, there's no getting back up. And that's exactly what happened. The heavyweight legend, Mike Tyson, secured the W with a brutal fifth round KO.
Jake Paul earned a ton of respect for stepping into the ring with a legend and holding his own. He showed heart and skill, and that he's more than just a YouTuber who boxes. He's a legit contender. And Tyson? He reminded everyone why he's one of the greatest to ever do it. Even at his age, he's still got that fire, that power, and that warrior spirit. I've already won in life, man. I've already won. I I've won in every single way. I have an amazing family, amazing friends, uh, amazing work ethic. I've made it farther than I ever thought that I would. And so, what did we learn from this fight? Well, for starters, never count out a legend like Mike Tyson. The dude still got it. Even at 58, Tyson can humble anyone in the industry. And Jake Paul, whether you love him or hate him, you gotta respect the hustle. This fight was proof that he's serious about this boxing thing, and he's gonna go far in the industry. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.